Greetings everyone, and Great here for another H Bars 4 replay. Spot on the top right side as the blue Roos, we have Recon. Spot on the left side as the green French, we have Louis MT. Was he spreading on out trying to find the deer? Really wanted to find that deer. Going for early deer does need you a lot of food. And since we do also have a Roos player here, so let's switch out of caster mode and make sure we have the Roos player selected so we can see the bounties. Currently, he has zero. You monster. And so I kill off some of this deer there. He needs to actually kill off the deer manually to get them down before his opponent has time to get the bounties from them. Oh, but you got some. They're both trying to uh, get the last strike there. It takes two arrows. Blue does get that one there. Blue does not get that one there. Blue does get that one there. That deposit deer has been cleaned on up. This one has as well. Or is being borsh and oh look at the trade bounties blue did not do well at all only has a 90. They didn't even get tier one that is a very very big problem do you know how the school cow would not pull it on the field at this rate, orange or blue may want to go for boar early. They want to get at least level one. Uh, what was that? Kremlin? Yep, Kremlin. And does find a wolf there. That will get him up his bounty as well. Wolves do provide some good bounty as well. Do not have the early knight deployed on the field. And the scout's here for spawning. He does get a stab there, but the problem is early knights or royal knights do some good damage, even versus these spearmen. Also, they're not even. Hardened Spearman. He needs to get the Hardened Spearman research as soon as possible. It is a pretty cheap upgrade. So cheap. It may be just a good idea for that thing just to be automatic upon aging. The captain now receiving quite a bit of fire right there. Provides right now 32 gold per minute, almost going to a villager. Now the boar is being claimed. And the boar has been claimed. We did use those spearmen there, there's no militia in that group. Go for that as well as the hunting cabin. If you were to pull the hunting cabin on this side, you could have got one of those trees in the place to get a little of extra gold. I now got multiple nice blood on the field. Of course, his the Roost player can fly out his own early knights and gauge the Royal Knights. The Royal Knights do have additional damage over time with their, after their charge. They have damage buff after charging. As well as they have some additional research, such as getting some health regen. Scout does scout out that Royal Knight there. We've got three spearmen here, all of them now hardened. Let's get some good damage there. Spearmen not getting overwhelmed by the Royal Knights. We got a lot of Royal Knights. Early French can be very impressive to play against. Since Spearmen just don't do enough at this stage of the game against these Royal Knights. This is inside the Wooden Fortress there. The Wooden Fortress at least has extra health to withstand. And he def definitely does need to get these guys back on that boar. The boar does provide a pretty good food gathering rate. Do not have the Chivalry upgrade being research, giving some health, extra health regen on all these forces. Far in the scout. Now I've got some militia charging forward as well. Needs more spearmen. Try to go for another charge there, but the Wooden Fortress does keep these villagers nice and safe, though a couple of them are very wounded. Militia now advanced. Oh, they should expire. Okay, looks like it's going to expire in 45 seconds. This map is relatively small, so the Militia can advance forward quite easily. Chivalry has now been researched, giving some good health regen on these forces. And you got these, another group of uh, Militia here. Oh, Jenny! 
the most one now is being cleaned on up. There we go. They don't gain villagers kills there, though a couple of them are wounded. He needs more than just these spearmen. He does have horsemen here. Maybe he will find this. Oh, uh, Roll Knight there does pick it off. Very nice. And does get some villager kills. Or at least one villager kill there. Spearman trying to deal with these forces. Does load inside the wooden fortress now. He has a good number of spearmen here, but still may not be enough for all these royal knights. There's 10 royal knights in this region. I go wooden fortress here, try and claim up these deer carcasses. There's also a good amount of berries here for later on as well. Oh, we got these horsemen now iron for counterattack as well. Well, it's not going for knights for counterattacking, just going for these horsemen. Right now, the gold income minimum from various hunting cabins. Those look inside the town, inside the wooden fortress there. He's a retarget towards that scout. May find a volley of arrows there. No, it does not. Now the Pierce Armor being researched for blue, which at this point in time not really needed. Once this horseman is going to be a bit more aggressive. And now the sounds are being pulled over here, be a relatively safe placement. He does pull out a large group of spearmen here, which maybe I understand it, that's for sure. And the cabin has been pulled on a field, just get him some extra gold generation. That village gets annihilated. Archer Rain trying to pull it on out. He's got these villagers falling back. Let's go ahead and get some sporadic hair fire there, but nothing too significant. Now here, these horsemen are falling back over here. I'm not sure how many kills they may have gotten. Right now, the villager count is 43 to 40. Both sides are just dancing around, not really willing to commit. Blue will be forced to commit uh, when green commits. All of the green, but there's a oppressive amount of Royal Knights here. And now there's some archers here as well. He needs more spearmen than just these uh, handful of spearmen. There's 20 Royal Knights there and there's 16 spearmen. I'm gonna go ahead and get some good damage there onto the wooden fortress. Wooden fortress go down, no problem. So will that hunting cabin? Blue's now eyeing forward with a pair of scouts and horsemen trying to hit the bonus villagers once again. Green could be a bit, could be a bit more aggressive. These archer ranges, eh, I understand he's trying to use archers to counter the archers, but he may just need to go full on heavy, large number of spearmen. He's trying to pull out a forward battery ram now. He's now going to advance forward. Has one battery ram here to bat down some of these structures. Archer Rain's now seeing a bit of fire there. 
You have these horsemen charging forward. They got to at least one villager kill there. Blue has pulled ahead in village account as well. Green's gold. He is almost clean on up. He does have these safe deposits over here. Or oh, could go aggressive. He's going to go aggressive. Going aggressive right now is probably good since his army is in the front line. Blue still needs some more spearmen. He's not going out anymore. Oh, here got these horsemen trying to go for some uh, villagers now. Going to split them up and hitting multiple villager groups. Very, very nice. The battery room is going to advance on forward. Villagers need to get some stabs there on those forces. Horsemen are getting cleaned up by the early knights. The battery room is slowly uh, being wielded down by the Council of the Fire as well as the Kremlin. Kremlin could uh, not use Castaway to get that uh, spring ball in place, but they're going for another battery room now. These the royal knights are trying to chase down these horsemen. Those run into the fire of the Kremlin. Kremlin's arrows are actually doing nine damage each. They actually do decent damage. The Royal Knight's uh, armors, Pierce armors, only four, so he does get taken out by the Kremlin arrows. Local Battery is now full on the field, trying to batter down his opponent. We got a big wave of hunting camps now pulled on, being pulled on the field. He's only been a bit too heavy. Uh, wood if he has that many. Let's have a decent force here. Now to put a massive wave on Militia as well. Militia now received most of the primary strikes there from the Royal Knights. Who's now facing forward and Militia just charging forward. Spearman charging forward. Marines are trying to escort the best they can. Gotta make sure he doesn't actually hit these banner ramps. Banner ramps are good damage so for green. Number of these uh archers are getting some good hits there. This now just use a spear brace there, getting some good alpha strikes there onto the militia, which technically is great for blue. Blue's armor's now trying to sort of step away. There's just too many knights in this area. He just did not have enough spearmen. Horsemen are going to get overwhelmed as well, which actually is a good distraction for blue's arc to get on out of there. Right now, Green has not a lot of food at moment. He's investing quite heavily into these knight production. He has not built any farms just yet. Bit, bit, it's quite wounded. Trying to go this wooden force as well. Does the wooden force there? Does hop inside the wooden force as well? The arrow damage is seven, so it's slightly higher than normal factions as well. Now trying to be upgraded with the castle turret. Gains some extra damage per arrow, which is very good. Gaining nine damage per arrows would be quite handy to help deal with these royal knights. Green style getting batter, battering down the primary town center. Does of course have extra health. Maybe good idea to spawn out wave of militia. He doesn't have the food for it, however. Primary town center may go down. Has a bit of the extra arrows. Now they do 9 damage per arrow. The primary arrow splits as well. The archers do pound have 6 damage. The Royal Knights of Pierce Armor is 4, so the, each of those regular archers do 2 damage per arrow against them. Council is now primary council is now down. Village count is quite similar, but Green will pull ahead now. We're trying to push on forward. Does sort of step away from the archers. Green's food production is down to the minimum. And he's starting to lose a large number of his archers. A lot of these forces have been quite wounded. He doesn't have the improved arrow slits over here as well. Wooden forces will go down. The villagers will be quickly killed on top. But these are good hard points. But actually, the villagers, some of them do manage to skip on out there. A lot of blue's structure are, is quite damaged, but blue does have a significant reserve of wood. Royal Knight's now charging on forward. It's good uh, starters up there, good volleys. Oh, 
Adding rounds are pushing me forward. Now he's pulling off these villagers off the wood line to siege it down, which is good. He has plenty of wood. He does have a decent gold generation as well. I'm not sure how much is from uh, gold miners or is it all from hunting cabins, but he has to pull out a large number of hunting cabins. Villagers are now trying to force down those battery rams. Those Royal Knights have been cleaned on up. Blue does lost a large number of villagers. Or green has lost, yeah, blue has lost a number of villagers, but green, he has no food uh, reserve. So losing this forest means he will have trouble time, taking time to recover. He does have some farms out now. And now he's got some early nice boy on the field. Green does get forced in the back. Blue, if a lot of stuff is destroyed, he needs to take time to repair this town center. He has plenty of wood for it, going for more gold from this mining camp as well. Very, very nice. Trying to repair up the Kremlin. Blue's going to take time to regroup to reinforce. Green only has the one town center, so the village account is going to be stable for both sides. If once uh, Blue gets it repaired, he can start catching on up. Some more early nights not being pulled on the field. You have this uh, village trying to claim this very or food. That's how desperate he is for trying to claim food. Just inside there, but these Urn Knights do have four Pierce Armor, so these arrows will do two damage each. Green has a small hit force here. Blue has a good enough defense force against that. Those have been cast on health, and we've got these uh, Roll Knights charging forward as well. Now going for the castle turret as well as the arrow slits there. And some of these archers are being cleaned on up. Blue's force now being chased on out. And these knights are starting to split apart, trying to deal with get some villagers. Very, very nice. He has group deployed these farms out groups of five. He can't get these guys scarce in this one, but there's no tower over here. Got another gate over here. We're all nice getting hit by these archers. Archers do have the plus one damage. This early knight getting focused down by the royal knights. So green will be kept back at home. Let's see. No food, no food. Both sides can't have a whole lot of food at the moment, especially green. Green does have eh, the food generation is basically the same. Green's not going for a big wave of Palisade Walls, not collecting up this food over here. And looks like these early nights are going to receive some fire there, but he needs to fall back out of this region. Not any, really any wooden fortresses in this region as well. More early knights move on the field. Early knights and royal knights are largely a fight on the same field. Early, the royal knights are slightly better, but that is a bit more from this engagement. Is there a follow-up charge attacks is what give the royal knights their advantage? And the health regen in combat doesn't will not make a difference. It's just in between combats they will get a small amount of health regen. So to blow out some more Royal Knights is a good idea, getting this town center repaired on up. Can you use this ability there at the capital town center? I guess if it's not fully repaired, it can still be called on in, maybe? Looks like a shirt. They'll just do abandon the region there. We do have nine Royal Knights here, or early Knights. There's more early Knights and Royal Knights. He could actually engage. He doesn't realize it, but I think because his bone has the advantage, now we got this force here, that's probably another good reason why not to engage. He's getting sandwiched, now it's severely outnumbered, does seem a good charge attack there. And the Royal Knights do get their charge bonus even if they both charge into each other like that. So that does make a difference. Now I got the Abbey and Trinity people on the field. I'm more impartial towards the High Trade House, going to the High Trade House near one of these big groups of forests, maybe going right there, could get him, get him some great gold generation. Now I got this battery ram battering down this house. These archers could be quickly overrun by these royal knights, but they are seeing quite a bit of damage right there. Some of these villagers are going down as well. Uh oh, he cancels that and we'll get out of wooden fortress there. This will buy 16 slots, which will provide some good fire support if he gets it upgraded as well. 
Town Center Center is repaired. And now it's garrison. Town Center does do seven damage per arrow. Not the traditional six, but not the improved nine. down there's a battery ram also batter it down and now we've got castle wage going and if he gets the upgrade uh, knight that will give him a severe advantage versus the royal knights and green he's far away from castle wage village count is very similar both into my village inside and some sort of spearmen okay he does ban out okay there's only three villages pop out that leads me to believe the rest are not villagers they're all archers. And losing them is not exactly good. Does pull out a massive wave of militia in the mix as well. Draws a lot of fire there for his world. Early knights, now knight knights to engage on. And some of these knights are getting caught up on all the archers. Very, very good. Kicking a couple of them off like that is very good. Now the roost player has a massive advantage. But green still has great field patrol. Doesn't have this gold here, but claiming this uh, more valuable gold deposit there. I call it more valuable because this is more contestable. Getting this early. Allows you to fall back to stuff later. Royal Institute now being researched for by Green. And that could be a big boon for the Royal Knights because Royal Bloodlines in Castle Age is absurdly powerful. Even Spearmen, mass wave Spearmen will have trouble versus it. Punk, trying to claim some of these relics. Ugh, that's getting a little bit close and they will move slower back. Oh no! He got lucky. And there's also a, a relic here. He could perhaps get a couple relics right there. The militia should be about ready to expire. I'm trying to click on one of them now. And there we go. 10 seconds remaining. The militia should be on an A move forward regardless. But the militia are about to go down. I think they just went down. Yeah, they actually most of them went down there. I may have slept on the one that had the best time of life. Archers getting focused down there. Royal Knights could charge in force well. There we go. Royal Knights don't have much to fear. He does have the. He just got himself as the uh, veteran Royal Knight upgrade. Having the veteran archer as well as more pierce armor. Town is getting some good hits there on these archers. Knights and Royal Knights now gave way. No charge attack there, so the Royal, they're on equal grounds mostly. Or any other other research. Archers will focus down these uh, Royal Knights quite nicely. He does have two damage upgrades on as well, so they're doing nine damage each, which would be very effective as the Royal Knights. Got the plus one Pierce armor there, reducing their damage output now. And all the Knight Knights to go down. The Royal Knights are closing on, in on these veteran archers. But his Royal Knights start going down. He has enough archers to win the fight. Up these villagers could be sniped. But he's going to be backed off to a corner. Blue's now streaming on in. Green's trying to re some of these walls. And there's going to stay in there and fight. No point in starting stepping away when. They're not going to escape either way. Monk now captured that. We've got the knights advancing forward. These villagers are going to stroll into the uh, outpost now. Green's archers advancing forward. They do only have one damage upgrade. And Royal Knights do have their two pierce armor upgrades. This is now seeing a bit of fire there. It's going for Royal Bloodlines, which gives his cavalry absurd 35 percent health in Castle Age. And if you're age technology like that in Castle Age, it is very effective. He could have a keep as well to get some uh, cost reduction on these knights as well. They're just trying to back on off the town center. Does say again town center there? Row knights not in a good number at the moment. Only three on the field, four, four more on the queue. And who's not trying to escape on out there? A lot of these knights are severely wounded. Of the row knights do charge and forward as well. 
Green does have a good number of archers here as well. No keep just yet. He's getting his stone up. He needs a thousand stone for those keeps. Or no, just 800. My bad. Oh, he just got it for them out. Gonna pull this keep there. And it's running his school cavalry as well. Can he be upgraded here? And that, he could have gone for the canted saddles there for him. It would be better to be able to see Magano lighting up a shot. Fires a volley. Large rolls a miss there, getting minor damage. Knight does go down to the veteran royal knights. We do have this. More of these knights charging forward. Literally charging forward. Let's get a couple of villager kills. And this keep will be deployed on out. Who's now eyeing for the northern gold. He could try for this more aggressive gold down there. There's still a unclaimed relic here. And Green still has an untapped stone deposit there. But he also pointed out Keep, oh no, that's uh, the Roost player going with the keep up here, grabbing green safe gold. Or he's trying to try to, at least. And he's probably going to be successful, honestly. Let's get a look at the charge bonus there. Side here has been captured. Two sacred sites controlled by blue. This one was less likely to be captured on up. And now with the veteran royal knight upgrade, that gives these royal knights 80 health. 80 additional health, which is an absurd amount. Up north, exotic doggo fighting this villager. Trying to go for a market up here. And these Royal Knights do, uh, Knights do take out some of his villagers. Royal Knights having trouble pinning them down at the moment. Where did Blue's... Oh, yep, Green's archers are right there. Does deploy out a defensive line of Palisade walls there. And does deploy some Palisade walls over here, but it's a little bit too late. He still has... Oh. Wait, what the hell? Why? Oh, there is an opening there. Let's catch up the opening there. It has walled off the high ground as well, so Blue has this nice little area secured on up. Trying to go for a lumber camp here. He may want to pull out a bunch of, of uh, banner rams in that region. Blue's not going for a uh, keep over here as well. Bang up this fire shot there. Blue's not going to have some crossbowmen here to help support his knights to engage his opponents with veteran royal knights. Green is low on gold. He has to go for the central gold right here. Since he's already used up the exhaust of this pile, and this one has been denied. This one's also being cleaned. So, going a little bit heavy in gold collection is not a half bad thing, but it can be double edged sword. But simply gathering up this gold now, just so you don't have to worry about gathering it later, can be very useful. New player's not a tough cap just yet, but pretty close to. Green does have some. Uh, now sprinkles here and now play on some batter rams with this uh, archer is very nice they got a very large number of batter rams here, trying to batter down the front line. He also get, had the spotting outpost as well as the gold placement as well. Some of these villagers are starting to get hit. He's not going to stop uh, collecting it. He may want to destroy some of his palisade walls there. Does take the Mega Nell there, very nice. Green's out pulling out horsemen. Horsemen do get improved by the extra health as well. And now we've got Boreal's Fortitude for Blue as well. It's also a powerful upgrade, not as powerful as veteran rural knights or rural bloodlines. Iron's now charging forward, trying to deal with his horses. Green does have some Arbor of Tears in this mix. Not a whole lot though. Turning batter on down now, but keeps seeing quite a bit of damage. These villagers could try to carry it on up. 
it looks like Blue's front line will be disintegrated. We've got these Riot Knights advancing on four. More horsemen and knights advancing on four as well. Green does have some uh, decent full generation. This opponent has over twice the amount. And Blue does also have some markers while on the field. He can go for a handful. Looks like he is going for a handful of traders, I think I see on the map. Blue's army is basically gone. Won't just go for more knights. Should be a good item for this bowman, that's for sure. The opponent's starting to mix in with all these Arbo tiers. Horseman charging on four, trying to get some damage on these villagers. I don't know if we see any. He does have. Yeah, he is starting to pull out a handful of traders now. We do not have this veteran row knight trying to force down this fortified palisade gate. Horseman has seen damage there, trying to go down from some of these traders. And green, wait, green backs out of the game? It seemed a little bit too early for green to back out of the game. Probably still the traders, I'm not sure. Maybe just the lack of gold dissuaded him. By the way, this is Andrew saying, thank you for watching and on the next replay.